So finally we see the character that is soon to join Boruto's unit and I really still don't know his name. I haven't looked up anything like I said in my last video. What's going on all you Boruto fans? I'm Predictable 6 here bringing you guys the next Boruto prediction video for episode 5. And of course we now see that our new character, the mysterious transfer student, is going to be finally introduced in the next episode. So we'll get to see who he is. He actually came from a summoning that Boruto had made back on episode 4 at the close to the end of the episode episode and I honestly like I said I thought he was a a uh, project or some type of subject for Orochimaru but apparently that wasn't the case he was a spawn off of one of Boruto's summonings I don't know how that happened I hope it'll explain that maybe even he'll explain it himself as to how he came to be so we'll get to see the interesting story being told about how the new character has been in you know how he got introduced and where he came from now a lot of you people might say that he was an experiment of Orochimaru's and he just somehow managed to place that scroll there on purpose and Boruto just was so happy to pick it up. Just this exact one that Orochimaru wanted. But I mean we gotta remember Orochimaru's not really a bad guy anymore ever since the war and he actually started helping out throughout the war at the end. He, I mean we pretty much can consider him a good guy. He's even been roaming the Leaf Village so I mean he hasn't caused any trouble. So we have to pretty much assume Orochimaru is good now, or at least he's just strolling around, not really trying to bother anybody, he just wants to live in peace like everyone else now. So we can't really assume that this new character is one of, Bor you know, just we, we can't really assume that he's evil, we can't really assume he has bad intentions. I mean, he's going to be a part of Boruto's squad, so I mean, we can't really say that, you know, this new character is going to be anyone bad. At least I can't. I, like I said, I, don't, I haven't read anything, I haven't seen anything. And I, I've been waiting though. I've been honestly waiting to see how this guy was going to be introduced and how he's going to come to be. And honestly though, I, I felt like Orochimaru was going to come up and be like, yeah, so I got a transfer student here or this is uh, one of my experiments. He, he wasn't going to exactly say that, but I felt like he was just going to come in with Orochimaru and Orochimaru was going to be like, yeah, I wanted him to go to the, to the Ninja Academy. Just to, you know, be trained to become a shinobi, you know, something like that. I, I didn't expect him to spawn off of what Boruto might have summoned. I mean, that, that's kind of crazy to me. But we'll finally get to see where the origins of this new character came from. Again, whenever you guys want to explain this in the comment section, do not spoil anything. Because I really don't want to have the story spoil for me. I really just want to kind of watch and see what happens. So just make sure you guys, if you're going to tell me anything, you can at least tell me his name, you know. And maybe, like what he's capable of like I know in the intro we see that he can like basically shoot his arm out almost like an extension sort of like what Piccolo can do in Dragon Ball Z it's, I, I forget what you call that but he's pretty much got like a serpent like ability to where he can like stretch his body out and basically do stuff like a snake would of course so that's why I'm saying he, he has to have come from some something of Orochimaru so it had to be Boruto might have summoned one of Orochimaru's experiments who knows how it actually happened but like I said don't explain the story to me don't explain like what exactly went down they you know if they're not going to explain that which i feel like they're going to at some point then you can feel free to explain but if they're if they're not going to you know if they are going to explain it then just let the story tell me what happened i, I would rather just find out by watching and make more it make it more interesting and i mean I, I guess you guys could if you wanted to just tell me bits and pieces of what goes on i really don't want to know the full detail of what happens i kind of want to be surprised at all the little twists and turns that come up so again just whenever you, if you're going to explain anything in the comment section just kind of leave that just be very broad about your statement don't don't go into detail about you know what's going to happen or what could happen or what's what what you might have read in the manga or something i just would rather be surprised about everything but in the new next week's episode trailer, we got to see that everyone's like met up this morning and it's like, it's, it's in the morning and everyone's just kind of like, what's this about? You know, then I think Shigadaya's like, how about we just let the adults handle it? I mean, they'll have the situation under control. And of course, Boruto being Boruto has to go and try to find his own way to deal with the problem. And I really just don't know what's going to happen, honestly. I really feel like possibly there could be a fight between this new character 
in Boruto, for all I know. It would be very interesting, but we did see Boruto use his eye again. This is, I'm telling you guys, his eye keeps popping up from like every episode. So far, I want to say in every episode, Boruto's eye has been activated at some point. Which, I mean, it's kind of like, alright, you know, we know Boruto has some kind of ability. Can we figure out what this thing is? Can at least someone... Just go ahead and tell us what this ability of his is. Now, like I said, I really don't think it's Byakugan. Just for the simple fact, he can't see uh, chakra points. He did ask his mom, Hinata, about what she was able to see with her Byakugan. And she told him, and all the stuff that she could see, Boruto can only see one of those things that she mentioned. And that was the ability to see chakra. That was it. He couldn't see actual chakra points. And I don't think he's ever going to be able to see chakra points. I don't know. But... So don't quote me on that, but I do know that Boruto did have to use his eye in this episode, and I'm still not sure if he's capable of activating it himself or it's just something that kind of happens whenever he just can sense bad auras, I guess. That's the only way you can really tell at this point that Boruto can sense auras that aren't good, so that's when, the, when his eye activates, so where he can see the chakra and where it's coming from, so... That's just about it when it comes to his eye so far. I wish they would go ahead and explain exactly what it does and, you know, how he can use it. But anyway, you guys, like I said, if you're going to let me know anything, Leo, just be very broad about it. I don't want to know anything in detail. But um, thank you all for watching this video. If you all have enjoyed this prediction video for episode 5 of Boruto, go ahead and rate that thumbs up button. Go ahead and give us the like. And if you guys would like to support us even further and go further and beyond, go ahead and share this video with all your friends, family, whoever you think would enjoy this video. And for all you Boruto fans, Naruto fans, who whichever, go ahead and subscribe because there will be a lot more of this kind of content coming your way. And on that note, this has been your broadcast. Unpredictable is out.